Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antspire Dimensions reality update video, episode 5, and I'm, we're just picking off right, right, right where I left off, so now it is, well, it's even more trivial to get to Eternity because I'm going to buy a Time Theorem with Eternity points and get this. This is, this is going to make the early part even more trivial than it already is, and it's also going to just... It's also going to help later on, especially, it seems like they're, after like E360 or E370 eternity points, it seems like I can, there's some kind of inflationary thing that allows me to get like 50 orders of magnitude at infinity points very quickly. So it's going to help that even more, or it'll, it'll, help, it'll help me get over the hump so I can get that faster. And just, I mean, just getting to eternity faster. Like, look at this. It, 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 it was, it took me like two minutes to get to eternity before. It's probably taking me under one minute. At least if I do it optimally. I definitely did not do it optimally. E306, E312. Yeah, I did not do it optimally. But I'm sure that it, I would have actually done it faster. And I'm literally crunching every like other second. So... It's it's crazy, and this is this is with less replicanti. So I'm I think the next study I'm gonna go for is the one that lets me buy more of these, so I don't need to be waiting forever for replicated galaxies. I mean, it's it's not gonna be that much because it really depends on my infinity points. So basically, the time study I bought seems to have made it pretty easy to get infinity points and then the next one it's gonna allow me to push farther i could try to just do two eternity point runs but there's not really all that much i can do with eternity points so i'm not really going to do that it does not feel like there actually is a hump at this amount of infinity points it feels like that the little burst of speed is because of the replicanti boost like even with this multiplier it isn't going as fast as i thought it it's probably making like the early part really fast and then just holding off the slower part until now. And actually E390, that gives me two more of these upgrades that allows me to get Replicanti quicker. So we're, we're it's like I'm almost there and actually it still isn't going that fast. I wonder why it's going, well, I know why it's be, all because of the Replicanti. It's really all about the replicanti at this stage because the time studies haven't really gotten plentiful enough at this point that it's actually that powerful same with like time dimensions and eternity points so yeah now things are going crazy because i think it's because of this time study that allow that be, has the replicanti multiplier just become way better so yeah e436 E440 eternity points and get a replicanti galaxy every 1 minute and 33 seconds. And now I can do it even faster. 1 minute and 29 seconds. Still at 3 eternity points. I really want to try to get another time theorem. I, I want to be able to get replicated galaxies faster. So maybe what I can do is I can turn on auto galaxy. Okay, I'm, I'm going to decide to crunch here just so I can Try to get more a few replicated galaxies next um next run so I can try to get to E500 infinity points. So let's do this. Now it's slightly faster to get to infinite replicanti. And also we have E100,000 antimatter. This allows me to get one additional time theorem. But we're I'm really going for two time theorems so I can get this upgrade. I'm also going to try next run, respecting the time studies, so I can get, um, I can just go all on the right and see if that actually helps things even more than what they're currently helping. Okay, finally, after several minutes of writing, I'm finally closing in on um, the next replicated galaxy. I can already get E500, but I don't want to get it now because I can, doing that, well, I was going to spend it so I cannot, so I won't get it on the time theorem. That's why I want to actually get it. So here we go. We can now get this. So I don't know how much this is going to actually help at this point, but 
it's, it gets it down to 34 seconds. So it might be useful. I mean, it seems pretty useful, but it isn't like the biggest game changer in the world. I think what I want to do, I will, I will try doing it on the right side. But what I'm going to spend my eternity points on is the not non eternity upgrades is the second time dimension. It's actually weaker than I thought, but whatever. It, w it will help at least somewhat. So I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to do a setup that looks like this. This is going to make make the waiting less and hopefully it's going to be more powerful. I also get more eternity milestones. So I now have 30 eternity so I can get this and this. So I don't have to do like any clicking other than in the replicanti tab, which is crazy. I'm getting, I'm getting this overpowered and there isn't really anything else that's oh of course there's the second time dimension is the second time dimension really this op this feels way faster no it's probably just my time study build it's just a much better build than before i mean anything with antimatter galaxies is just way more powerful than i think it is because like 10 percent better antimatter galaxies basically means like before any boosts 10% more, like, 10% more exponent, basically. <laughs> That's like 10% more of the exponent of infinity points as well. So it's it's just a lot of things just pile up. So I can already get E500 infinity points. So I, I definitely made the right choice there. I'm like, it's, I'm actually getting replicated galaxies even quicker than I was before. It's up to E520 infinity points. It barely feels like much of a wait at this point to get all the way to... Okay, okay, it doesn't barely feel like a wait. It still does definitely feel like a wait to get all the way to infinite replicanti, especially if I'm trying to do it multiple times. But it feels quicker than before, which is nice. You can... Get, you can do it for e536 infinity points i still cannot get any more time studies i kind of want to get this one it's e15 times more infinity points maybe also the um this one's also pretty nice but it does increase my reliance on high replicanti i think the best thing about this whole thing is that i only lose half my replicated galaxies on infinity and and it seems to round up, which is really nice. So, I actually think what I'm going to do at this point is go on a super long run, set up my infinity auto buyer to crunch when I when it's um, let's say not that much. That is a well, yeah, that is a huge number. No, when it's one e ten. Higher. Actually, 1e5, and I'm going to automate it. So this is going to allow me to push quite far in my infinity points, and we'll see how far I can get. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back the next day, and you can see I have e713 infinity points. This is actually enough to get four time theorems, which is enough to get this upgrade. You gain E15 times as many infinity points. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get that. And you can see, actually, replicated galaxies are now a lot easier to get. I'm only get I need only three seconds to get it. I actually did a little bit of off-camera regression, but not that much. I just bought a couple of these upgrades. And now it literally, I'm not even sure how long it takes. It takes 1.856 seconds. So, basically begone as the era of having to wait for replicated galaxies and I guess I can say hello to the era where I don't need to wait for them I mean not that much it might get bad later on like I'm gonna like this is gonna be really useful but yeah I think actually what I want to do I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna eternity and then re respec the time studies I'm gonna respec the time studies so that I can get the, you gain E15 
times as many eternity points. I don't, I'm not sure if the eternity upgrades is the way to go. Maybe I should go with the time dimensions instead, or just time theorems. But the next time theorem is kind of far away. So I'm, I'm just going to go for this eternity upgrade here. And I'm not really going to do much else. I'm, I mean, I, I'm just going to go for fast eternities, actually. I just want to get the eternity milestones. And I can get, get so many infinity points that at this point, I can get to eternity so quickly. Like, it's not really a problem. I'm not even using an optimal, like, automation setup here. I still can't automate everything, but... I guess while I do this, I'm going to um, buy some Eternity upgrades here. So this is going to give me another Infinity Dimension Multiplier, so I'll of course help. I'm also going to get Time Dimensions here, because there's not really not much else I can do. I can get a third Time Dimension. I'm also going to get a couple of these first Time Dimensions so I can get even more Tick Speed upgrades. And yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just pushing to 100 Eternities at this point. And you can see how quickly I'm getting Eternities. Let's see, let's see how many I have. I have between 60 and 80. I should just go to my statistics, but I'm too lazy to do that. So I should have some auto buyers at this, at this point. Actually, I don't even need this auto buyer for Eternities. That's kind of useless, at least for what I'm trying to do right now. It's, I'm I more just want to get the Eternity. I just, I just want to get these auto, auto buyers first. And then I'm going to go for a longer run where I'm going to try to get more eternity points out of it and just get more time theorems as well. I haven't really purchased any time theorems yet. So, okay, here we go. All of the auto buyers have been purchased. And now I can buy as many time theorems as I want or I can go time dimensions. I'm going to, I'm going to first go with this time dimensions here. And yeah, it's just, it's getting quicker and quicker to get to the auto galaxy view. I'm not even sure what I was trying to say. I guess just quicker and quicker to get to the replicated galaxies. Like maybe I shouldn't even get this infinity auto buyer. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get some time theorems here. I'm not really sure what I want to go for. Um this could be this seems pretty powerful, but maybe I want to go for the infinity dimensions. Like that seems even more powerful at this point. And I would need to I, I would need to eternity a little bit before doing that. I'm just gonna try to save up for the six here. So I'm gonna do one eternity. This will allow me to get one time theorem, and just one more eternity later, I'm gonna be able to get the next time theorem. So actually, what I'm gonna do here instead of doing e5, I'm gonna do e20. It's gonna make it a lot quicker to get to eternity, and just going to be more optimal for eternity point grinding. So this should really help things like a lot. Like I don't I don't know how quick my eternities are. I can I'm probably get I'm probably almost at 100 so I can get the eternity point auto buyer, but I kind of want to go for I'm not sure if I want to go for time theorems. How about this? I'm going to do one more like long run and then I'm going to see where I am once I'm done with that, and that'll be next episode. So, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.